Am I the asshole? For telling my in-laws we want nothing to do with being parents to our nieces? I 21F have been married to my husband for a six months, we've been together since we were 15. My husband had a drug addict older sister 26 who has two daughters of her own, ages 9 and 6. We've only met the girls a few times. No one knows who the fathers are. My husband's sister passed away three weeks ago, and the girls are currently staying in a foster home. My mill was pressuring for us to take them. You see, we really could, we have the financials and the space, but I just do not desire children. Neither does my husband. I feel as though I do not have the sensitivity to be a mother, and it wouldn't be great for us nor the children. I tried explaining this to Mill, but Mill says you do for family, and that she would take them if it wasn't for Phil failing health. I basically shut it down and she kept on going how they would spend their lives in the system, and how we have good potential to be great parents, I finally cut her off and said we want nothing to do with being parents to our nieces. Mill got upset, hung up the phone, and hasn't talked to me since. She keeps sending my husband articles though on statistics of children in foster care and telling him we could have prevented this. My husband and I have talked about it, but we just honestly don't want to. We don't have the time, and we're simply just not parent material. They'd have a better life in foster care. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole but there's certainly got to be another solution. Those two children will receive SS survivors benefits. Don't think it won't be much either. My granddaughter's father died when she was a couple years old, he was only 24, little work history, and they weren't married. My daughter received about $1,200 per month in SS benefits for her. With two children receiving benefits, Mill should be able to hire some help if the ailing Phil needs that much care. This assumes you are in the US though. They won't be better off in the system. They'd be worse off, especially as girls who aren't younger than four. Not the asshole for setting boundaries but the system ain't nice and many bounce from abusive home to abusive home until they're kicked out at 18. Nah, but seriously doubt being in foster care is better for them, also don't blame grandma for wanting the kids kept out of the system. Foster parent here. Not the asshole for setting boundaries but do not justify it by saying they are better off in the system. No, they aren't. We finally adopted a child who had been run through the foster caringer. It's very, very difficult to help children who have been rejected over and over and passed through numerous homes. Imagine their pain at knowing family doesn't care. Not the asshole. But stop lying to yourself. There's not much of a chance that kids their age would be happier in foster care. You don't want your own kids and you don't want someone else's kids and that's okay. But don't try to make it sound like you're doing it for the kids. You're doing it for you. Not the asshole your mill is though for guilt tripping and manipulating. Not the asshole. It's so sad though. Foster care is often not a great life. I understand why your mill is upset. But, it's still not your responsibility. You are so young and it's completely understandable that you do not want half-grown children that you have no idea how to raise. Keep firm. And, it's okay if later you want children. Don't let them guilt you into feeling guilty if that is what you want down the road. Not the asshole, but don't think they'll have a better life in foster care. The stats don't support that. Not the asshole. My aunt took in her sister's two kids and it's not easy. Different circumstances but still not easy. You set a boundary and it's your right to do so. Although, I wouldn't say they would have a better life in foster care just cause the system is not great. Not the asshole, Mill shouldn't be guilting you and your husband should be handling this situation. 21 and barely married means you could financially do it, but probably not emotionally. Not the asshole. You can't properly raise kids that you don't want. Not the asshole. I have a friend who initially didn't want kids, but let her husband talk her into it, they had four. Every single one of those children was in counseling and had mental health issues before they were five. 
There are some people who should not have or have responsibility for children. If you and your husband don't want children and don't feel that you would be good parents then you are making the right decision. Not the asshole someone can't force you to do something you don't want to do. Not the asshole for acknowledging you wouldn't be fit parents especially since both of you are on the same page about that but no child that grows up in the system says they had a good life. Not the asshole. You know that you wouldn't be a good parent and that's a boundary you have set in place. It's a sucky situation. It might be a good idea to try for visitation so the girls know their family is still there for them even if they can't parent them. But ultimately you need to do what's best for you and your husband. Not the asshole, it's an unfortunate situation, but if Millie's so adamant she should take the kids regardless if her husband is sick. Being forced to take children you don't want may cause more damage to them in the long run. Can they be adopted? Not the asshole. Not your kids and you do not have a bond. If your husband wanted them I would say NAH if you decided to call it quits but he doesn't want them either. Sucks for the kids, but that isn't your problem unless you had agreed before her death to be the kids guardians. Not the asshole you made your intentions clear, you don't want to take these kids in. Not the asshole. It's really sad for your nieces and I hope another family member is able to step up. But 21 is super young to be parents to kids that old, and that would be a huge responsibility to take up. Your mill honestly just needs to find a way to take them herself. Not the asshole. While my heart hurts for those little ones, I think it's good that you recognize you are not mother material. Not the asshole, as awful as I feel for the girls. You're 21, and it sounds like your husband isn't much older. You guys are babies. This is an absolutely no win situation. Everyone loses. Is there no way to dig into the sisters' history to find their fathers at all? Can you maybe help fill more so Milk can step in? I'm sorry, this is awful. Not the asshole. You're 21 and you've been married six months. Your Mill needs to back off. She can take her grandkids. The last thing you need is to have to half-grown undoubtedly traumatized children you don't really know foisted on you. Not the asshole. Your mill is right about the foster system and it's a tragedy the kids have to enter it but this wasn't your doing nor is it your responsibility. If you don't want children you don't want children. It's not like she's asking you to put your hatred of cats aside to cat sit for a week. She's asking you to make monumental life choices at a relatively young age. Work with her to find a good home maybe, but don't feel pressured to take them in you won't be a good guardian if you resent them. You two are very young to be parents, but particularly two kids who have likely lived chaotic lives and are traumatized. Dealing with traumatized, abused kids takes a lot. Time. Money for therapy. It takes maturity, too. You're only 11 years older than the oldest niece, and you've only been married a few months. Not the asshole they aren't your responsibility.